my name is Kade Adetunji. I have four designs from the group members. I need you guys to know that your portfolio is you presenting yourself to your employer. How you want people to see you is how you arrange your portfolio. And like what I always say to you guys that most organization today, they are not ready to waste time employing someone who is not going to add to the success of the organization. What every organization is looking for is someone who is going to come in and then fix that part that they employ you. Because the reason why they, they decided to look for a creative person to join their team is because they noticed that there's a leak, there's leakage on that area in the organization. So your job or why they decided to put it out that, okay, we need a designer is they need somebody who can fix that part. So it, it will make sense if they employ you and they, they are still finding it difficult to, you know, block that leakage. And how we let organizations know that we understand this business, because if you don't understand the business, trust me, employing you is going to be difficult. So how we let them know that we understand this, the business is through our portfolio. And I want you guys to know this, that your portfolio is not only what you design on a PDF document. Your portfolio is what you put up on your social media account. All right. Now, there's a part of the PDF. And then there's also the part of how what you put up on your social media page or pages. So how you want people to see you is is what you put up for people to see. You know, so many of you are on this platform today because you saw a design online, and then that design draws your attention, and then you click on the profile of the person, and then when you scroll, when you saw the first design, then the first design trigger you to scroll to look at the second design after checking the second design you check the third design again and then you notice that you spent close to i mean more than three minutes on that person's profile and you had any no other choice than to click on the follow button and after clicking on the follow button you believe that this person carries what you know it takes to be a good designer and then from there you started doing your research and realized that there's a platform that you can join where you can you know learn from this person and that's why so many of you are here today all right so the same way you made the move of following a good designer is the same way clients that's it's the same way clients look at your profile and say okay this guy must be part of our team you know i've had the opportunity of getting jobs from organization who did not even care to see my secondary school certificate because I'm a secondary school certificate holder, all right? I didn't go to any university. So they, they even asked for my secondary school certificate. They didn't ask for my national ID card. Um, your portfolio is very important if you want to make money as a designer. As creatives, how we do our own adverts is by letting people see what we can do and then letting them understand that we'll know what we are doing. So as So how we let... Uh, uh, our employers know that we know that we understand this game is when we put up our design we let them understand that see the message behind this design is this and then they now check the message which is the description on the design and connect with with the information or the layout of the design that you did so if they see that the connection is perfect they know you understand the game so we are we are now out of this season of you just post design because we have so many designers today. In fact, we have some designers that if you see what they post on social media, you go like, am I, is this design business actually my calling? Am I actually called to do this business? All right. So it's easy for people now to go online, search for designers. If I can be working for some of the people I'm working for today, all in the name, all in the name of say, okay, um, they go online, search for designer and they, they contacted them. It means that getting designers nowadays is easier. All right. But what we now, you know, differentiate you from every other designers out there is when you post your design and explain the brief, explain the goal, let them know, OK, this is why I have this design. And this 
is the goal that this design is supposed to solve. So if they see that you are good at explaining the goal and how you're able to solve the problem, then they will now go and then check your bio, read about you. I'm telling you, when you send your portfolio out to clients most time, they don't care to read about you first. What they do is they go straight to your designs, see the goals, how you're able to solve the problem. If they now see that you are good in that area, then they scroll back to your profile and then read, okay, let's even know what this guy, how this guy <laughs> is doing his own design, how he was able to, you know, get this idea of coming up with good designs. Okay? So what I'm going to be checking on today's portfolio, today's portfolios is the design. All right. I'm going to be checking the goal. And I'm going to be checking how the designer or the designers were able to solve those design goals. Okay. Here I'm going to sw switch to my other screen now. So this is our first, first portfolio for today. And um, this is coming from Abraham Olani. And he says, I'm a brand designer. All right. So I'm going to go to the next page now. So this is Abraham's um, profile. All right. So because of time, I'm not going to be reading your profile. Okay. My focus is the checking of your design. So if your design is successful or your layout is successful, then I'll scroll back up to your profile and then see how you see graphic design. Okay. But if I see any error on your profile, I'll quickly correct you so that I won't forget. All right. I, think I like um, Abraham's layout here. But the only issue I have on this is, please, Abraham, next time, eh, avoid too much of tracking on your design. Tracking is also part of what we use as creative to create contrast on graphic in uh, graphic design. You don't just use it because you want every of your uh, information to your letters to have space. So please avoid it. Okay, and I'm referring to the way you, you know, did it here. So please avoid it. Eh? Another thing I want you to learn, and this is for every one of you here, okay? When you're doing design, okay, and you notice that you have words on two lines, like the way you have it here, please don't ever make your the space between your tracking wider than your leading. Leading space should be wider than the tracking. So tracking is this is tracking. That space between the spaces between your letters. All right. So don't make this space wider than this. This is your leading. So if this is too, if this is small and this is wider, it is not always professional. So this one's supposed to be this one, this line here is supposed to be wider than this. All right. So this is our next page. It says logo construction, ideation. Uh, please always have something that shows like a menu so that, or let's, let me say opening page so that when, by the, when we are getting to your projects, we'll know okay, which, what page exactly we are on. All right. So always create an opening page that says, okay, for example, if you are going to, going to logo, you can say logo design and then we we'll know, okay, what we're expecting is logo design. Don't let just, don't just job into the, the project. All right. If you do it that way, it will make it look more interesting. All right. Dual Contour is a registered fashion brand with core luxury, excellence, creativity, just say anything. So we have about the brand here. So we can see the logo. Then we jumped into the complementary cards. And then the branding of shirts. This is looking more like a brochure. Okay. So this is another logo again. Oh, okay. So I think, uh -huh. sorry. So I think I like Nii's um, portfolio here. We can see the background and then we can see the solution here, which is what I was telling you guys to always put on your uh, portfolio design. All right. So let's see the next page. All right. Be this complimentary card. Okay. All right, this is another logo design again. Okay, so um, so me, I, I like I like your uh, uh portfolio, but the only thing I think you need to work on is please, eh, um, please next time let this have their own. Sorry, let uh, what you did here have their own maybe slide. I mean, let them have their own slide. You can put this four, all right, the four 
uh, um, different colors of the logo on one slide and then we can now have one of this on one slide i believe with that it will it will make it simple and look more professional part of what will help the look of the logo is when you make the logo stand alone when you make it have its own slide that's another way of letting people see the beauty so um let's see our next page all right so this is good this is beautiful i like this um, mock-up and um, presentation this is this is professional all right this is beautiful this is beautiful i like what i'm saying so this is looking professional but please eh, allow avoid this you know i mentioned it before please avoid this and i like the way you did your layout here with you know your consistency on the font and then putting the background on the left side of your frame this is beautiful for photo manipulation uh me please you need to let your employer know what inspire each of these designs here and never put the same design on one slide like the way you did here you can do that if the designs belong to one brand like the way you did here and you've noticed i didn't see anything about it on this on the branded um, project all right now this is why i didn't do that because i know okay this you already explained the background of um the the brand and then you did all of this um promotional designs for them but when it comes to flyers design for different brands please let's let us understand why you did those design and if it's photo manipulation please let us know why you uh you know did the photo manipulation and that's another thing i want you guys to know I know so many of us here are good at using Photoshop to create photo manipulation. Don't ever create any photo manipulation without reason. All right. I've seen so many people change their head from um, its original look and then convert it to coconut. I've seen somebody convert himself to a lion. You don't do all these all these things without reason. There must be a reason why you are doing it. If you do it without reason and then you put it on your portfolio, trust me, it's not going to get you any job. All right, it's not going to get you anything. So please make sure there's a reason why you, uh, you know, did the design. So and notice here that this project still belong to this brand. All right, but since you have given it, okay, yeah. So it belongs to this brand. Please let's know why you did all this design for them. Those are the things that you know um, organizations want to see. Let's understand, okay, the reason why this light tiger is coming out from the screen is because the message is to create so, so, so. And I was able to do this, achieve it with um, doing this photo manipulation to explain this message. The same thing with this, the same thing with this, and the same thing with this. All right, so please, let's see the next design. So you do the same thing on each of these design, all right? Okay, so um, so please, Ni, eh? your portfolio is fine, but let's understand why you did all this um, manipulation. And then again, another thing I want you to know again is, please, any design that you did not do, let them know that you didn't do the design and explain why you decided to recreate the design or why you decided to copy to do the design again. See, all these little things that I'm sharing here are things that make people trust you. In fact, when you do that, it will make them know that you are not a liar. And when you paint that trust image to your employer, in fact, the, the employing you is going to you'll be the number one person that they will call back. Okay, so always let them understand. In fact, make your portfolio look like you are talking to them. Design it in such a way that you are you are in front of them because when they are when they are checking your portfolio, you won't be there. They only call you when they are satisfied with what you have on the on your portfolio all right so please eh? so this is another good project again nice designs but no background and then solution uh, okay all right thank you okay so um me your portfolio is beautiful trust me this will still get you job all right if you send this out to companies um some they, some companies will accept you do you understand? Your portfolio is beautiful. The designs, the mock-up, everything is neat and fine. All right, but the only part you need to work on is those parts where you did not explain why the project exists. 
all right so and i believe that if you can add that to it it will even still you know it will make you stand out from every other creatives who send their portfolio to the same company that you sent your portfolio to okay error number one on this please never use two different font weight for on a word don't use two different font width on one word all right the reason why it's called word is because the letters as are, are seen as one group they are seen as one family so you creating different weights on the letters is you creating separation all right so the way you did it here what you did here made it look like pot is different from folio hey sorry pot is different from folio so please uh bros I've adjust this and you know do what is right because when you work this way or when you make do this you are very in fact some companies will not even check your portfolio because in their mind they will look at it like if this guy cannot understand that portfolio is supposed to be together it means this one's going to give us a deco so please eh, um try to uh fix that part all right okay so this is about you uh egbe makin oluwa timle manuel so i'll call you manuel okay work experience all right um so we now have your contact details at the bottom let's see on your let's see your next page so this is what i was telling you the other time create a, create an open uh, opening page for each of your projects with that uh it will you know make your project look more interesting so now we already we already know what we're expecting so when i click on the next page now you see logo ah uh, no emmanuel eh. So you said logo design. So I expect to see, we expect to see just only logo design. Okay. So because of this, I'm not going to spend time looking at your projects. All right. Um, try and, you know, we we'll work this because we are judged by our design, our portfolio design. So the beginning, all right, the starting of your portfolio, tell people that, okay, this person understand this this uh, designing of portfolio so the way it is now it shows as if in fact this you hope you're starting as had already explained to us that before we get to for what we're going to see before we get to this the end of this portfolio is going to shock us so please eh, uh emmanuel don't take this as an offense all right kindly go back and do the right thing so let's see our third portfolio here okay so oh boy praise Uluwa. Praise Olawale. So we have your profile here. So praise. The look of your portfolio is similar. In fact, the message, the starting of your portfolio is similar to the previous portfolio, which is a manner's portfolio that uh, I just checked now. So um, your starting here already explained what we're going to expect before we get to the last page of your portfolio. In order not to make you guys think I'm condemning or I don't want to check their portfolio, I'm, I'm going to open just seven pages and then you see what I'm trying to say. So you get, you know that I know what I'm saying. So this is the, I think it's the third page. All right. So I'm going to count this as the first page. So I'll go to the next page. So it said logo design. Now you see that no background and no description. I mean, no solution. Page two, the same thing. Page three see the same thing for so you see what i was telling you guys the other time the way that I mean how you want people to see you is going to be how you're going to put the information on your portfolio in fact the first page of your uh, portfolio tell people what they are going to experience on the other pages so when the first page is not looking professional they know that and before we by i'm sure when we get inside the the portfolio uh when we start checking the pages we are not going to see what's going to impress us that's why sometimes uh times when you send your portfolio out you don't get a response from organizations the reason is because you've let them understand that i don't understand this business so please um uh i would advise this person to go back and then understand how allowally so please i would advise you go back and see how to make good design um how to make good portfolio design you i have lots of uh, i think i have a lot of videos on youtube at the moment that explain how to make good portfolio design and then you can use the first portfolio design that i checked here to you know come up with something good okay 
All right, so um, the last, I think, portfolio today is um, going to come from Beyonce. All right, this is coming from um, Oyenek, Evangel Oyenekon. I hope I pronounced that correctly. So we are on Behance now, and we're going to check Oyenekon's um, portfolio. So he said, I'm passionate and creative, graphic design, graphic designer, and photo editor. Okay. So we have explore and scroll. Now, these look more like buttons, but we can't click them. So our advice, we don't use it. It's taken away from the message. You don't, anything that is not necessary on your portfolio, please don't add it. Don't say because the page is looking empty, then you now start adding things that are not necessary. So please, um, uh, oh, yeah, Nikon. All right, please. Um, oh, yeah, Nikon. Sorry, his name is Oye Nikon, not Oye Nikon. Oye Nikon. Oh, yeah, Nikon. Yeah, that his name is Oye Nikon. So please, Oye Nikon. Um, this is not necessary. All right. Okay. So why hire me for your next project? Hmm. Anyway, so I'm gonna group Oye Nikon's profile with uh Emmanuel and the second to the last profile all right guys um your portfolio is you all right your portfolio is you telling people how good you are so our advice you go and check how to come up with good portfolio design or use the previous videos on how to make successful portfolio design and even this video to come up with a new portfolio design that uh, we get you your dream job okay so um i think this is going to be our last portfolio today and i um so i appreciate you guys so if you have not subscribed please hit the subscribe button and if you like this video kindly click the like button and um if you have any comments you can drop it in the comment section i'm going to see you guys again in the next one peace